And he said unto them, this is the same, different account of the same words. He said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, praise God, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Today in our grocery stores, they put so much terrible stuff in our foods, so much terrible stuff in our water, so much terrible stuff in our atmosphere, that Jesus says, if you drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm you. I want all of us to receive that by faith. In the generation we live in, there's so much stuff in the stuff that we eat and drink. We need to believe that. But my point of reading this is this. That word right there, believe it. In case anyone does not know, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. All of the Old Testament books was written in Hebrew, the original text. It wasn't written in King James. It was written for the Old Testament, written in Hebrew. And the New Testament, from Matthew to Revelation, was written in Greek. That was the language that it was written in. That word right there. And the King James is good. I stand by the King James. But there are words. The separation between the English and the Greek is the Greek was very much more precise. The words went more than just believe. It went deeper than that. That same word that they used right there is called pisteuon. Uh, it's P-I-S-T-E-U-O-N. Pistion. I'm not Greek. But that's the word. Okay? Which means this. Now before I tell you what it means, I'm going to tell you this. That same word, pistion, is this, it's not in French, is the same word that's used in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him. It's the very same word there. And it also is the very same word in Acts 16.31, which says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Okay? Before I tell you what that means, how many times do people just say, just believe, believe, believe. You don't have to do anything, just believe. And they take these verses and they make them a light thing as if all it is is just a profession. Check me on this later. That word believe means this. To believe. To put one's faith in. To trust. With an implication that actions based on that trust may follow. And to entrust. That word believe is much more than just I believe. It's I believe and then doing things that back up you believing. Yes. The Bible says that we are not saved by works, but is the gift of God, lest any man should boast. But James says without works, you have nothing. Because it says that by our works, our faith is made perfect. By our pistion, our works are made perfect. And we're justified before God because that day we give an account, our heart will say, I've done it. I have given of myself. I have not withhold anything. And guess what? You guys may be sitting here saying, I haven't had a breakthrough. Or I haven't felt the Lord in some time. You want to know why? Because we're not doing anything. We just want to go like this. You want a breakthrough? Commit yourself after this day to the Lord. Now let's talk about some practical ways that we can do this. I was going to read a few more verses. I'll skim them really quick. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that which he has done, whether it be good or evil. Revelation 20, verse 11 through 15, says that God will judge us according to our deeds. Jesus said that we will give an account of every idle word that we speak. Consider that. Consider that. Um, this round of... After I get done talking about this, will you play that song? Um, practical ways to do this. I have, I have gospel tracks. They fit right in the credit card slots of gas stations. They're little tiny cards. You put them in, pump some gas, slip it in. Go on. I've got other ones that when we go somewhere, when we go to a grocery store, just grab one, put one on the shelf. Leave it there. Someone's going to find that card. And all it does is have the message of the gospel on the back. It tells them the same thing we've been talking about today. Turn from your sins, follow Jesus, believe in Jesus. So Jesus. You can use gospel tracks. <clears throat> I've got some out here in the foyer. I'll bring some more. Gospel tracks in one way. Number two, when you go throughout your day-to-day -day life, whether it be work or with family or whatever you're doing, 
When you have an opportunity, do it. Whatever it is, it could be anything. You could be helping someone. And here's the third one. When you see someone doing something wrong, to make them aware in love and yield yourself to them. Commit to being able to nurse them like the Good Samaritan back to help. Because if we're going to warn people of their sin and not be willing to do anything to help them, we shouldn't say anything. Because Jesus could have pointed his finger at us and done nothing that would have been like, oh, I'm just condemned. But if we tell people and show them in the Word, not in our opinions, show them in the Word and tell them and say, look, I love you. And, and you know, you may think I'm crazy, I'm doing anything I can to help you. And then really do that. These are ways. I, like I said, my, my calling is I, I'm a street minister. I go out and I do that. That's a way that I give to the Lord. That's my calling. That's what he's called me to do and I do it. Each of us have a gift. <coughs> Linda, you're a blessing. She, invite, she is in hospitality. She invites people over to food. She does. And I know that's your calling. Amen. You bless the saints. And praise God for that. Yeah. Each of us. Kathy, she's been, who knows that she's a master construction artist. She's been back there remodeling the entire church. Mm-hmm. Praise God for that. So we each have a calling. Whatever it is, find it. Give yourself to it. If you don't know what it is, go to the Lord sincerely with faith and ask Him. He'll show you. He'll give you opportunities of making it clear. So you can you can preach, you can share the word, you can serve. Find it. Do it. Because you have a, you have a responsibility to. It. It's not just, oh, I might do that. we got to really find that thing out and give ourselves to it because that's the purpose of you being on this earth. All right, I want us to pray this, play this song and... Uh, Everyone, just as you're in this place of yielding your heart, let's just worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And as you go from here, the Lord bless you, the Lord strengthen you, the Lord give you peace, make his face shine upon you and encourage you and give you strength. Don't give up on this. You go double check me later. Open your Bible. You're going to see that what I'm telling you is true. Fight for it. It's your very soul and it is the souls of others who are dying and going to hell every day. They need you.